I'm Michelle with the Butterfly Pavilion, an invertebrate zoo in Westminster, Colorado. This is our latest video in the Morpho Minutes series celebrating Butterfly Pavilion's 20 years, inspiring intrigue about invertebrates. In celebration of our Living Lights Festival, let's talk about one of the most amazing animal adaptations on Earth, bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is a phenomenon where an organism produces its own light through a chemical reaction inside its body. Bioluminescence has evolved in many different species throughout the world and in many different environments. About 90% of deep ocean animals are bioluminescent. The ability to make light serves as an essential adaptation in the animal kingdom. Deep sea invertebrates such as jellyfish, squid, salps, crustaceans, and worms can produce light. Bioluminescence is rare in land organisms, limited mainly to arthropods and fungi. Animals use this light-making ability to attract prey, defend themselves against predators, and communicate. Male fireflies light up their abdomens to attract females. Some animals use bioluminescence to warn predators. Motixia millipedes glow in the same way other animals exhibit bright colors to warn off predators since they ooze toxic cyanide. Animals also use bioluminescence for counter-illumination. Squid illuminate their silhouettes to match the same shade as the sunlit waters above, making them nearly invisible from predators swimming below, like sharks. To produce light, bioluminescent animals use a mixture of two chemicals, very similar to glow sticks. One, luciferin, is a substrate. The second chemical, luciferase, is an enzyme, or the catalyst. Both chemicals are needed to produce light. Some animals do not produce luciferin. They will instead absorb it through their food or through a symbiotic relationship, such as the bobtail squid, which houses bioluminescent bacteria in its body. Most bioluminescent animals glow white, bluish, or green. One creature, the railroad worm, can glow two colors, and it's the only creature known to produce red light. Scientists have found that bioluminescent chemicals are also useful in medical research. For example, the crystal jellies chemicals are being used for research in early detection of cancer. I hope these examples of bioluminescent have you intrigued and ready to learn more about this fascinating and essential adaptation. Thanks for watching. Come visit us at the Butterfly Pavilion to learn more about bioluminescence. And check back here for more upcoming Morpho Minutes to learn more fun facts about invertebrates.